When we are talking about life, right? You know, when you go somewhere, you're always going to see something it's familiar for you at, at your home, at your place. So when you're traveling the world, and I was lucky thing, even with the music, I'm traveling the world. And it's my first time here in Germany, in Berlin, but I was thinking already, like for years, when I'm coming to Berlin. But I think um, every person, have his time to do something or to meet something or someone or to be there at that time so if it didn't happen till now it was because it was need to happen only now you know so maybe i was not prepared to come to come to play in germany or in berlin and only now with 32 um, doing what i'm doing and producing what I'm doing and whatever, whatever, but only now maybe it was the, 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 the right time to come here to play. So I think every place you go in your life um, needs to be a time to go there and meet those persons and see that things and feel that sensations, you know? So everything, I think it happens only when it needs to happen. So for me being here now, it's something very, very, how can I explain? Because Berlin is like the techno, the sound, you go everywhere, you see art and see the Fridis and um, everything about the history, about Germany. And now I have the opportunity to be here playing music, my music, African music, you know? So it's, it's kind of weird to explain that, you know? But maybe only now uh, even the people were prepared to listen Jeff's music. So I think about everything there is a connection to make the things happen. Mom and my family they said like since the beginning you were playing well, whatever, whatever. But it's like, yeah it's your family. <laughs> they are saying you are mixing well. But I remember when I started playing and when I started got interested about house music and the art of DJing, um, I took a course of um, how to play with vinyl. So uh, I start playing with vinyl, not only with the MP3 or CD, CDs and whatever. So in the beginning, I went into a club. It was the first club where I start playing music. Uh, it's called Scala in Portugal, the studio. Uh, I got lessons from a, a guy called Miguel Mateus. He's a DJ till now. On the final of that course, like mini course, they did like a challenge with all the persons who was there doing that thing. And I won the, the, the challenge on that time. This was when I was uh, 18, 18. So from 18 till maybe 20, I was like playing every day on my room, like every day, like with vinyl. I, I, put in, I was putting like a, a song playing, then I, I, I run into the kitchen, and then I run back like, I was thinking already like, imagine if I need to go to the toilet during my set and I need to come back and then I need to put the other song playing up on this. So I, I did that um, exercise like for a lot of times, a lot of times, like um, trying to get the, the other beat with the, 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 the fader already up, like with the, the song already on, like if the people are listening like two tracks doing on the same time. And, and I need to get the, the like the make the sync, but with the the, the two songs on, on on with the loud volume, you know. So yeah, it was like this type of exercise I was put on my head already, and I think I was quick. I think it was quick, maybe like two years or something like that. And then after that, I felt already like okay, now I can play on a club or I can make something. And then after that. Yeah, just practice, practice and practice and practice to be better and practice. <laughs> yeah, for me it happened on the time I moved to Angola. I moved to Angola because, yeah, to be honest, the, the real thing is I am like a, a son of his parents, you know. I was always like 
uh, Tiago, Tiago, you know. So my parents are like always giving a lot of love, a lot of love. And when I put on my head, okay, I need to move to Angola, it was like, okay, I'm starting like my life again. Because the living in Angola is totally different. It's completely different uh, uh, reality. It's a different country. Um, the, 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 how can I explain? The, the way how you live is a little bit similar of the Portugal living, but it's completely different. You know, I had some of my family there, but I was far from my parents. They were like calling me like almost every day, you know, so this type of things, but made, made me grow up and start seeing the life um, with my eyes, like on a different way. Like, okay, so if you want to be successful, you need to work. You need to put on your head what you want to do and start walking. Don't run, go walking, like step by step, do your things, we had gave you like uh, everything what you need, so from now on, just go and take care of you and do your thing, you know, so after that I just start doing my thing, start making music and start working, it was my first work on the TV show and yeah, we're here, <laughs> just let me go around the world and I cannot complain about anything, you know. I remember the last time probably was when my grandmother died, dead, something like that, uh, and it was in 95, yeah, something like that, but the other thing would not made me cry, but made me like happy, like to a certain point that you're gonna make, make probably cry, was... Um, the first time uh, I saw Louis Vega playing one of my tracks it was like he, he was in Angola and he played the song uh, the, one of the remixes I did um, of Ayo Life is Real and when I heard he was playing that song it was like wow <laughs> Louis Vega is playing my song like something I did in my room in my home like wow you know, so I think that moment was, was special, was special. I think in, in my life I always put, um, I try to, to, to give to the people something what I'm living on that moment. Every track I do, that uh, have a meaning. So on that time of my life, like the, my first album was called Malembe Malembe. Malembe Malembe on one of the traditional languages from my, our country means well but slowly or slowly but well you know so it was the beginning of my career as a DJ and as an artist when I started doing music there was a track called Malembe Malembe it's an instrumental track because for me it was okay I need to do first something that is very uh, simple so it needs to be um, instrumental not with vocal because I think right on this point of my life, there is no one is going to explain singing like what I'm feeling. So it needs to be instrumental. In, it's uh, with a guitar, something very mellow, and soulful, and whatever, whatever. So after that, I released my second album, it was Soldier Ascension. So in my life, I was feeling, okay, so I was in Portugal, I moved to Angola, the things are start happening in my life as an artist so I need to give to the people something they are going to remember later because I know this album is not going to be like a, the best like a big sailor or seller sorry in, a, in Angola because the people here don't understand yet like the soulful, the soulful side of house music they like more the drum side and whatever whatever so I, need, I did an album <clears throat> more soulful with a lot of vocals with a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, crazy and beautiful artists it was really special and I did this track called Soldier Ascension because it was the, the, the moment I felt I was on that time so because I felt okay so the things are happening uh, and I want to still grow up and do and travel and make music and I, I want to meet people, I want to people to meet me, I want to share my music and I know this is going to be successful, so I need to keep working. On 
that time was the, the Soldier Ascension. Um, I made a tour, uh, a video clip of this, of this song. It's kind of uh, weird, maybe, the video, but I felt I had to do something like that on that time. Because on our, our scene, uh, when I, I say our scene, I, I'm talking about Afro House, uh, there is not too much people making video clips of these songs. So I need to make something like the people are not expecting. So I did a video of people, the video starts with people like stopped, like um, those toys you have on uh, the clothes, clothes uh, shop when you go to buy some clothes. And the people start moving when the music is becoming higher and higher, you know? So it was a concept I did with some friends and I think well, the result was very good. And a lot of people came to me sending messages like, thank you for this, what you are doing and whatever, whatever. And now I have a, a lot of new tracks and I'm coming probably with my, my next album is going to be called Gratitude for everything would happen till now, you know? So every step I do, everything I do, if, when I'm going to release an album, um, needs to have meaning. Right now I'm guiding uh, some people. Um, the first person I have teach how to mix and everything about house music was uh, DJ Alpha from Portugal. Um, right now I'm living in Angola, of course, and I have a guy called um, DJ Afro Pupu. He's one of the persons I'm teaching about house music, about how to mix, about like a little bit how to be an artist because he needs to be himself. But there are some things he needs to do uh, like the right way because if I did on the wrong way, then I found this is the right way. I'm teaching already. Yeah, don't go for this side. Just go for the left. Don't go to the for the right. You know, so some things like this. Um, I'm working too with the uh, homeboys. So these three kids are homeboys. They are two. They are twins. These three kids are the the persons who I'm like guiding as an artist and trying to Afro poop and homeboys get out from Angola and to the world because they have something to, to share too with them. To put Kazukuta out, I felt in the beginning when I started making music I was like okay, so I'm releasing a lot of tracks, uh, my tracks, uh, with different labels you know, around the world but right now I'm, I feel I need to promote and share a little bit uh, some of the talents we have in Angola. So, this was the reason I created Kazukuta um, and give the opportunity for them to release their music on those labels on, to share for the people. So Kazukuta is going to show like the other people they know already about Jeff so but they're going to learn and know about some more people that are coming from Angola because sometimes when you send a track, a track to a label it's going to always try to give uh, uh, some ideas or uh, we don't like this but we, we like that but we know in Angola that track works and when I go out I play that track and that track works so but for those labels they out they don't know or they don't feel the same way how we did so for me it's more easy to grab that songs and put them out and now you can see like there is a lot of uh, uh, Angolan artists and not only Angolan but doing Afro House and the people are really feeling it, you know, so uh, in the beginning about Kasukuta, everything about with papers is always difficult <laughs> to get everything legal and whatever, whatever, but thank God right now we are doing well, we are doing releasing a lot of stuff from Angola and yeah, there is a lot of talent to show and to give to the people. I think everyone who are in this world have his mission. So I believe someone up there put it me, Jeff Afrozilla, no, Tiago. Uh, and then Tiago had um, his young life. And now I'm 32, I'm living in Angola, I'm traveling the world, um, and I have the opportunity to do what I really love. So I think I found what was my mission here in this life. So if I can make you happy with my music, I need to. Sometimes it's not easy, sometimes I'm sick, sometimes I'm whatever. But what happens is, every time when I'm inside of the booth, 
I can forget everything about my life. And what I feel is some of the people, when they are dancing, they can disconnect and we can meet on, I don't know, any place. And the, 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 the magical thing and the, the, the energy, um, it happened, you know? So if I can share with you my music while I'm playing and with my productions, um, I think I found what was my mission. So I think all of this, it became from a spiritual side. Because if not, um, the thing is not going to, to happen. That magical, like, click during the night when I drop something you don't even know or you are not expecting, and you will say like, wow, I was thinking about this music, but I know, I don't, I, I don't even know about this music. I never heard this music. But when that DJ dropped that song, I really felt something like he made me cry, he made me smile, he made me call my mom during the night. I don't know, you know. So I think all of this is about like energy, and energy is about the spiritual side. So I think all of these things are connected. Drink water. <laughs> Drink a lot of water. Drink water and just treat yourself. It's like. There are a lot of things in this life they are going to give you and share with you and whatever, whatever. But you are going to take those things if you re really want. If you feel like you don't need those things to play music, to uh, produce music, just do drinking water. Why not? It's like there are a lot of elements on this life around us. But if you don't need them, why are you going to use it? It's like, just live your life like the way you, you think it should be. Um, do whatever you want to do, but you have to put on your head, um, maybe th that's not needed. Maybe you don't need that to do your things, you know? So, drink water. <laughs> I'm, I'm real happy. I'm a happy person. Even with all these things about our lives, everyone has his life, of course. But I'm for sure about everything what happened since I was young, since I was a kid. Yeah, about everything, everything. It was not easy in certain times, but now I know I'm happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>